tight selling, forced add-ons, and deceptive pricing practices at car dealerships. Ah, we're opening up a serious can of worms today, or you might say a can of whoop-ass, because we're going to have some great arguments here to use against this stuff, folks. Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, the homework guy, here today with amazing Elizabeth, the homework gal. Liz, today we're going to expose one of the commonly illegal tactics bad car dealers use to force product purchases on their customers, and some dang good arguments you can use to get rid of them. One of the biggest reasons car dealers get away with this stuff, even if it's illegal, is that first, consumers have no idea it's illegal. And secondly, even if they did know it was, they wouldn't know how to argue to get those forced add-ons off their car contract. The first thing anyone can do is conduct a simple Google search with the question, is Tide selling illegal? Here's the response you get. Tide selling is an illegal practice of a company providing a product or service on the condition that a customer purchases some other product or service. It is frequently used in reference to banks and is sometimes referred to as coercive tied selling. Studying how a bank uses tied selling is very revealing as to how a car dealership does the same thing. A Google search for how a bank uses tied selling reveals this answer, coercive behavior and tied selling. The following demonstrates how coercive tied selling works. Your bank's mortgage specialists tell you that you qualify for a home mortgage. However, you are also told that the bank will approve your mortgage only if you transfer your investments to the bank or its affiliate. Wow, don't car buyers hear a very similar story in dealer finance? The finance office is famous for saying things like, the bank will give you this attractive interest rate, but only if you buy this extended warranty plan. Or an alternative statement, the bank will finance your car deal, but only if you protect your investment with an extended warranty plan. Yikes. There are a few problems with this kind of statement. And what are they, Liz? Well, first, it is illegal to coerce someone into buying a product like a warranty just because they are buying the car. Secondly, literally everyone should know that the extended warranty or service plans dealers sell are often not worth the paper they're written on. We've covered the deficiencies of these plans before in this show, extended warranties, an expensive gamble for car buyers. We shared in that show that it's not just us that says extended warranties are a bust. Far from it. But so does Consumer Reports. Consumer Reports says that 70% of people who buy one would never do it again. The third reason is that a warranty or service plan of any kind can add thousands of dollars to your loan balance without doing anything to improve the value of your car. If something happens and your loan balance is, say, $25,000 and your car is only worth $17,000, you have a huge problem on your hands. And because the finance officer used the warranty argument to get you to add to your loan balance, he or she will likely also say, now you need gap insurance (laughs) so you are covered in the event of an accident. The dealer provided gap insurance policies with an extra price tag of $1,000 to $1,500 will inflate your loan balance even higher. Problem goes from bad to worse. If the finance officer uses the argument that an extended warranty or service plan only adds $25 per month to your car payment, we suggest you use this idea to save the money and simply say, you know, I'll go one better. I'll put $50 per month in a savings account and build myself a maintenance nest egg. Right. That is precisely what we do. We have the vehicle properly inspected prior to purchase if it's used. We maintain it to keep it running good. We drive it nice so it lasts us, and then we put away money each month into savings to cover unforeseen expenses. We said we'd provide some useful analogies that viewers could easily understand. Let's start with an example provided by the FTC themselves. The FTC challenged a drug maker that required patients to purchase its blood monitoring services along with its medicine to treat schizophrenia. The drug maker was the only producer of the medicine, but there were many companies capable of providing blood monitoring services to patients using this drug. The FTC claimed that tying the drug to the monitoring services together raised the price of that medical treatment and prevented independent providers from monitoring patients taking the drug. The drug maker settled the charges by agreeing not to prevent other companies from providing these blood monitoring services. To better understand how it applies to a car dealership, just substitute a dealer product for the two products outlined in this FTC statement and you'll see the parallel here. If the drug maker required patients to purchase blood monitoring services, a second product or service, somewhat like an extended warranty, along with the medicine, the first product, like a car, the FTC claimed that tying the drug, the first product, like a car, to the second product, like monitoring services, unfairly raised the price of the medical treatment, just as a forced add-on at a dealership unfairly raises the price of the car, fattening your loan balance and preventing independent providers from selling the other product, like an outside warranty company competing with the dealer for your business, or an auto parts store offering much cheaper mud flaps or pinstriping right. that the dealer is trying to force upon you for hundreds of dollars by saying, it's already on the car. We put it on all our cars. 
To defend against this, I always look up tied selling on Google when confronted with a forced tied sale. Because salesmen are largely ignorant of the law and they aren't much of a decision maker anyway, I show the search results to the manager there. No dealer has ever gotten away with telling me that something is already on the car if I don't want it, and I provide plenty of examples how stupid it is. Let's cover some of those for our viewers here, Kevin. One of my favorites, Liz, is the hot dog analogy at the grocery store. Who doesn't love hot dogs? Yeah. <laughs> the hot dog story is a great illustration of how stupid tide selling is and why it is illegal and how nobody but a car dealer does it and gets away with it. Here's my hot dog analogy. I say to the dealer, if I was at the grocery store to buy hot dogs, I'd only pick up the hot dogs, pay for them, and leave the store. Nobody would ever get away with saying to me, ma'am, we can't sell you those hot dogs unless you also buy the ketchup and mustard we have on aisle four and a bag of hot dog buns from the bread aisle. That's what everyone else does, and we expect you to do it the same way too. I add that last statement because dealers like to say, that's what most of our customers do. Nothing but pure nonsense. Right, and just as it is for the dealer attempting to require me to buy a second or third product or service from them because I'm there to buy a car. Add tight selling to your homework, friends. Even print it out in advance, and no dealer will ever get you with a forced add-on again. All right, Liz, let's give another analogy for those who might still be struggling with understanding it. Sure. Let's talk about the shavers at the store. A good one. No checkout clerk will ever tell me, ma'am, we can't sell you those razors unless you also get the shaving cream we have a sale on. We sell them together because that's the way most customers buy them. Such a classic. For our viewers, if you've been pushed into purchasing a forced add-on at a car dealership, you should know that many of them can be canceled after the fact, particularly if it's a type of insurance or protection package. Yes. Even if it's been years since you bought those things, you'll still get a prorated amount of money back. We're talking specifically about extended warranties, gap insurance policies, accidental death policies, job loss insurance, tire and wheel protection, glass breakage protection, and road hazard protection. Any product similar to these products can be canceled. By the way, if a forced add-on sale happened to you, Share your story in the comment section below, and if you would, please include the dealer's name and the city and state they're in. We would love to help out the bad actors. And that's our show on tight selling and forced add-ons for today. Also, a brief update on our hassle-free car buying process. We've been actively identifying and recruiting good dealers to connect you with, but as you might have guessed, a good dealer's search takes time. Good dealers are hard to find. As you may have noticed in the recent show we published on total dealer fees by state in 2022, the numbers are simply staggering. So make sure you also see our video on 11 fake fees. The fees are something we aim to bring a stop to on behalf of you car buyers, which means that at the moment, we must screen out the most greedy dealers of the bunch. It's a sorting and vetting process, and over time, we'll out them and take the business away from them. We'll have a lot more on that very soon. If you appreciated today's show and you're new here, don't forget to smack that subscribe button and ring the bell for notification of new shows. For those of you just entering the car market, you should also be aware of all the free resources we have available for you on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. From a free car buyer's guide to free email templates to use with car dealers to a list of fake fees and even the FTC rules printout. And we just recently added that spreadsheet from the show, Total Car Dealer Fees by State in the U.S. for your convenient reading. Billions of dollars in fees are being collected every year. It's all there at thehomeworkguy.com, free for your download to use when shopping. And we'll add a tide selling deceptive pricing download for you too. As Liz reminded you, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notification. Subscribing is free and painless to you, but it sure helps us out a lot. And give this video a like if you appreciate what we did here for you today. Right here, courtesy of the Homework Guy team in our show, is where you'll always find the most dependable tips and helpful information to assist you with finding an enjoyable car buying experience in today's car market. If you've recently joined us as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back, and to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth and justice in the car business and always will. We, we gotta, gotta go. go.